everyone so today I'm gonna be doing an updated setup tour since I recently did a little desk makeover if you're interested in watching that makeover I'll leave the link to that video down below and before we get started with the tour I wanted to introduce the sponsor of this portion of today's video which is magical Magical is a free-to-use productivity app that uses AI to efficiently help you with your tedious and repetitive task. It's able to automate data entry, write messages, and fill out spreadsheets. To get started, you're going to head over to the Google Chrome extension store and download Magical. And once installed, just pin the extension to your browser. Some of my favorite features of Magical is the AI replies. I love using this feature when responding to emails because I'm able to customize the type of reply I'm looking looking for and Magical would draft a reply for me in just a second. It's a convenient feature to have because not only does it speed up the emailing process for me, but it also helps me write a more professional response. Another feature I really like is the templates feature. I love using this feature to reach out to brands and it just makes the whole process so much easier. So to access this feature, you're gonna click on the magical icon and then create template. Just add a template trigger, which is what you'll type in order for this template to pop up in your message and then type out what you'd like for the template to say. You can also use the AI assist to help you with this part like I did and then your template is ready to go. Check out the description box for the link to download magical and thank you so much to magical for sponsoring a portion of today's video and now let's get started with the setup tour. All right so starting off with my desk I now have a height adjustable desk and this one is the FlexiSpot E7 Pro. I've never tried out a standing desk before until this one but after using it for a while now I honestly love it more than I was expecting to and this under desk drawer over here is an attachment you actually have to buy separately. I originally wasn't going to install it on my desk but I'm really glad I did because it's super convenient having things I use on a daily basis like my journal, coaster, and pens at such an easy reach. And my cable management tray also is a separate attachment from FlexiSpot. But you guys, look at my cables. They were always so messy and falling off my desk because I used to hold them up with tape. So I'm really happy with how neat and organized they look now. And next to my desk, as well as under it, I have these two Alex drawers, which are from Ikea. And my chair is the DX Racer Air Mesh Gaming Chair. DX Racer doesn't sell this chair on their website anymore, but they do have it on Amazon. So I'll leave the Amazon link for this chair down below. Now we'll go from the left side and make our way to the right side of my desk area. So up on this wall over here, I have a wire photo grid from Amazon. I used little clothespins from Michaels to hang up some photos and prints I found on Pinterest. And I also hung up a keychain as well as this little Lego figure. Now below it I have a pegboard from Ikea and all the attachments on it are also from Ikea. On this shelf up here I just have my old vlog camera, a lighter from Palace, a mini perfume, my film camera, and this panda figure I got from a Jujutsu Kaisen blind box. Below the shelf I have a keyboard from Azio. I just have it displayed here because I think the colorway of this keyboard matches this little corner really well. And below that I have a My Melody Funko Pop and in this container I have some Laneige lip sleeping mask. On this shelf over here I have a Miffy plushie from Zilly Monkey, a Sunny Angel, and this box from Diptyque because I just really like their packaging. Up here in this container I have my Glossier lip balms and on top of it I have a Minion figure from Pop Mart. I also hung up some cute keychains for decoration and this new jeans picture that I actually ripped out of a photo book from one of their albums that I have. Next to all this I have a fake plant from Hobby Lobby and the plant stand is from Ikea. Now on this wall up here I have some light panels from Nanoleaf and next to it is this shelf from Home Depot. All the figures on this shelf are either from Pop Mart or Bear Brick and this acrylic shelf is from Amazon and these octagon shelves are from Daiso. They actually all come separately but they're able to be connected to each other so you can customize how you want to stack these shelves. And then we have my Psyche K neon sign. I get the most questions on this sign and it's from Neon Freak but sadly I think their store closed down so you aren't able to purchase this from them anymore and over here I have all of my custom keyboards hung up I'm not gonna go through them all because not gonna lie I don't entirely remember everything in each keyboard because I've been really out of the loop with my keyboard hobby but the stands holding them all up are from Etsy now moving on to my desk area on top of this Alex drawer I have a Miffy humidifier from Timu and behind it is a lamp from Ikea 
Over here, I have a little wooden shelf from Timu, and on it, I just have this speaker from Devum, a new jeans album, Totoro figure, a Maki figure hanging back here, and this candle from Diptyque with a Yuta figure on it, and this little bunny is from one of my Pop Mart figures. My mouse pad is from the Key Company, but unfortunately, they've discontinued this design, and my keyboard is a custom keyboard. The case is the KBD Fans D84 V2 with Sakura keycaps from Asame. I don't see this keyboard case on KBD Fans' website anymore, so I don't think you can purchase it for retail. And this quilt cable is from Alpaca Cable, and the Karomi Cable Byte is from AliExpress. My mouse is the Logitech G Pro Super Light, and my headset is also from Logitech. My monitor is the MSI G273. I purchased this from Costco a long time ago, and it actually comes in black, but I spray painted it white. I don't think you can tell I painted it though, since the paint hasn't chipped off at all anywhere luckily and my wallpaper is from wallpaper engine which i'll link down below behind my monitor we have my monitor arm which is from amazon these light bars attached to the back of my monitor are from govi and the led strip on the back of my desk is also from govi now moving on to my pc i'll leave the link to a list with all of my specs down below but my case is the lean lee 011 xl which actually comes in black but i taped off the black parts so my case would match the rest of my setup better since I am going for a more white aesthetic. It doesn't look the best but you know what it's okay because you can't really tell from further away or I just don't think you can tell but inside my PC I have this Hirono figure from Pop Mart and also this LED light lit up out of nowhere recently and I can't turn it off or change the color. I looked online and they said to press these buttons to change the color but that doesn't work so if you guys know how I can turn this light off or change the color please let me know because this red light is driving me insane. It just does not blend in with the rest of my PC's LEDs since they're all white and then I just have this strip of red light but yeah anyways that's pretty much it for my setup tour I'll also insert some clips of my setup at night because everything looks really pretty at night and I'll leave all the links to everything I mentioned down below thank you so much for watching today's video and I really hope you guys enjoyed the tour